good morning. We are back at the pool deck job. I got a Slim Jim in my mouth. Far walk today. Hold off on the very back with the sand. I'm just trying to get all the concrete in the front. Alright. So we're going to seal the pool deck today. We got to get all the cut pieces, all the scrap out of the pool first. And then we can start sealing it. How's it going? Good, man. How you doing? Good. We got that pile of sand and scrap all cleaned up. Now, let me show you the pool deck. So Jose wet sanded it, so it's not the easiest to clean up. And I never wet sand anything. I always do my best to dry sand it. When an area is wet, I'll torch it with our torch to dry it up before I sand. But Jose went to Lowe's and got sand and their sand's always wet so he just wet sanded it and i've been scrubbing it for the past 30 minutes with my broom and it's still not getting everything out like over here in the shaded area it's still all pretty wet back there so that's never fun well this is the pool deck Check it out. Looks pretty good. Got this leveled off to the right height. That's all good. Lows, that's the issue because it's wet. That sand's wet. Uh, it seems no matter how much I sweep, I still walk over the area I just swept and blew off and it's still sandy. And if I seal that, it's just going to seal the sand on top of the pavers and it's going to feel like sandpaper when you walk on it barefoot. And that's not what I do. I'm not the happiest with Jose's sanding method right now. I think I might just go to another job, go back to the museum today and clad it, let this dry more, and then come back tomorrow afternoon after it's been drying again all day, and then seal it. Because this is not working right now. I mean, I'd have to torch the entire pool deck if I really wanted it to dry out right now. <sighs> Uh, it's never exactly how you want it to be. Yeah, I just, I, I can't risk sealing it like this in the condition that it's in. I'm going to have to do it tomorrow. The pool guy's coming tomorrow morning to clean the pool. So we're going to get all of the concrete chunks and stuff that has fallen in the pool out today. And then uh, he can come tomorrow. We'll go to the museum tomorrow in the morning and work on stuff. And then we will come back here and uh, seal it after the pool guy's doing what he needs to do. But right now I need to clean off those chairs, some of the plants over there this bench 
you get washed off some little stuff we really just want to clean this place up and then I'll just seal it tomorrow a board full of cut pieces yeah let me grab one of those in a second I'll grab it when I come back we're not gonna seal this today no it's too much of a every time I sweep there's still sand right underneath me it's just gonna be sandpaper if we seal it I said it's just too wet every time I sweep or blow it's just sand still right that underneath my feet yeah road. it's just like if we seal it it's just gonna be sandpaper so we're gonna seal it tomorrow I'll afternoon yeah but we still have to obviously clean the pool yeah. and clean up everything around it. I gotta wash down a bunch of the plants and the bench is all covered in dust. But when, it, when we leave here, we'll uh, go to the house and get rid of everything in here. Just take a shovel, we'll throw, leave a shovel in the back and then I'll drive up to the front and shovel all this yeah. at the end of the 250 pile. And then we're gonna go to Mary's and I can do that that uh rock on that that uh pedestals. It's always buzz the wrong thing. Got busted in the belt. I take the belt off. Pants are falling down. Oh thank goodness! This is like perfect temperature, bro. I could deal with this. <laughs> Here, let me get your bucket. Clean the road down. It's nice that it's not grass around here. I can just wash this stuff right into the shell. And you won't even be able to tell. to Mary's and start working on that you can just finish this and then go home okay. dump that yeah oh he said that yeah. oh but nice <laughs> but you got a towel in there all right but just yeah work here until you it's pretty clean I left you two waters over there I wish when it was murky we pushed it all down in the one spot. I know, it's all spread out everywhere. Yeah. And then whenever I move it freaking just gets murky. Yep. I think that pump's all in now though. So So Pool Boy's supposed to be coming tomorrow. So we'll just get the chunks out and hopefully he can work magic. Alright, I'm gonna make my way over to the museum. Stop and get some lunch first. Whoo! 
Ooh, that's a little tight gap I gotta get out of right there. We'll make it work. Make sure everything's closed up. Alright, so we are back at the museum. She got these two light posts installed on each side of the driveway. And I went and did a scratch coat last week on it. And so now I'm going to start putting on these stones. We got more stones over there, but I'm going to have to grind them all off because they were already used previously on this wall. And we took them off, so they still have a bunch of mortar on the back of it. So, I got the pieces that I can use. I'm going to go ahead and try and use all of these up today. And then when we come back, I'll grind some more down because I know we're going to need more than just those pieces. But first things first. Ugh. Mix up some mortar. buckets in here do we start with that. Oh no, not my cup. Ugh. All right, so some of these big guys I'm going to have to break up a little bit I think yeah uh, I don't know if I should do that quite yet We're just gonna go for it. No planning involved here. We're just gonna send it and see what it's looking like. Need to get my mallet. Hold. I'm gonna have to put some more powder in here. It's a little, it's a little thin.
cold. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put this one all the way at the bottom just like it is. Maybe something a little smaller so we can get more of a gap. Yeah. I'll go with this guy. Because remember, I need to leave gaps so that I can put some seashells and some bigger stuff in there. Can't all be small cracks. And on the top, I'm going to run them all going this way, horizontal, from when you're looking at it from the road, because they're all horizontal around the sides. So, that is my plan for the top. Maybe we can, yeah, we'll use that guy right there on the top. small guy for the middle This guy right here. Now we can use up. I'm thinking I might as well use up some of these small ones in these areas here. It's really the best place for them. On the top, around the circle. So that we can use longer ones on the side. This one's going to be iffy figure out a different place for that guy. This one can do right here. Um, maybe I want to leave a gap for a shell right there. So, let's go ahead and see if we can do something like that. Time to shine right there, buck up. So, tomorrow we will come back here in the morning 
and I'll finish doing my cladding. Might even start grouting on these. And then we will go back to that pool deck and seal it. I gotta figure out when that pool guy is coming. Because if he's coming in the afternoon, I don't want to show up to seal it when he's there trying to work on it, you know. That wouldn't be cool. Hmm. Like, I'm gonna have to think about this one. Put a shell here, a shell there, and this back side will get filled in. Yeah. You know, I can't lie, I kind of enjoy doing the veneer stone, doing stuff like this. As long as I'm in the shade. That post, there's a reason I'm not doing that post first. Because it's dead in the sunlight. I might have to come back and do that one tomorrow in the morning when it's not in the sunlight but we like the shade can't complain about a little bit of shade because it's getting hot here in florida it's 89 degrees today feels like 99 what we'll do we'll leave a gap right there for a show put this one in and this will be the final one of the top that's money honey Kind of stagger it. Looks better that way.
So the next morning I came back and cladded the other pole. I didn't bother really filming it because that was really all we were doing there today. We had some other weeding that we had to do in some paved areas with our torches. And so I just went ahead and filmed this one part and didn't bother filming the other column. Uh, we weren't able to go and seal the pool deck the next day because the pool guy didn't show up until 3 p.m. So I didn't want to put the sealer down and then have him cleaning the pool and getting the pool deck wet. So we just scratched it for until next week. So the sealing video for that pool deck will be out soon. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a runaround sometimes, you know. That sealer, you can get it wet and then cl clean it off, get it dry, and then seal it, but you can't seal it and then let it get wet after. So I didn't want to take the chance with the pool, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next one.